Welcome people to my new video channel, I am Kirk Please bear with me, this is the first time I've done this sort of thing I recently purchased a Samsung Gear 360 camera and decided to make some videos and video blogs and load them up on YouTube so please bear with me um, I am going to be doing some videos and blogs about gaming, Nintendo Switch um, also some playing some games with my niece and nephew Cody K and Bobby James which they're excited about um, and a couple of outings and stuff like that with my niece and nephew so let's get into it today I would like to show you some of my Nintendo Switch accessories that I have purchased over the last seven to eight months uh, when I bought my Nintendo uh, I've, quite, I've got quite addicted to it and uh, some of the purchases I've got Nintendo Labos, some of the grips and uh, controllers games and I've also tried my hand at my own Labo which I'll be showing you later so let's get into it and show you what I have got okay people let's take a look at the accessories I've got as you can see I've got two Labo kits uh, eight games some Joy-Con grips, some carry cases. Let's have a closer look at some of them. Right, I have the vehicle kit, which was the first Labo I bought. It comes with the big steering wheel, which is pretty cool with the functions on that. It also come with the aeroplane joystick the submarine controls of course the foot pedal and a nice little spray can for decorating your vehicles and the other Labo kit the variety kit which come with the motorbike some little accessories just have a closer look at the motorbike uh, it come with the piano all the bits and bobs for that are inside there which is quite cool uh, it came with the fishing rod which I really got into that one I really enjoy playing that one it come with the Labo house with all these little controls that go inside the house that do all your different things and it also come with this I don't know whether you call it a car or a tank but it's really cool it, the way it uses the rumble from the Joy-Cons to move around it took me 10 hours exactly 10 hours to do the vehicle kit and I decided to do that all in one day instead of over a couple of days and the variety kit I done it over a couple of days and it took me about six hours to do all them as you can see down here I have eight games in physical form I have Street Fighter 30th Anniversary Collection I used to love playing Street Fighter 2 Turbo when I was a kid so I thought I'd get this it's got Street Fighter 2 Turbo and many of the other Street Fighters on there the full set by the look of it I also have Mario Kart Deluxe 8 which my niece and nephew actually love playing as well as me 
I have Mario Odyssey, which I have completed now. That was quite a good game. I have Super Mario Party, which my niece Cody and my sister love playing. They are addicted to it. All the mini games on there. And now they've actually got addicted to the board game on there as well. I also have Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu with the Pokemon Ball Plus controller, which I think is really cool for playing that game. And also playing the Pokemon Go version on your phone. I also have the new Super Mario Brothers U Deluxe, which I'm a, I've only just started playing this one. This was actually my newest game, and it's turning out quite cool. I also have Attack on Titans 2. And I've been playing this for about two months and I keep getting stuck. <laughs> um, it's quite cool. cool. It's really close to the actual anime TV show. But uh, I think it actually looks better than the anime TV show. Oops. I'm just throwing it around there. And last physical game, I have Pokemon Tournament DX, which I've not played much yet, but I like Pokemon, so I bought that. Maybe I'll have a go at that later. Down here I have my Nintendo, and... I have a 128 gig memory card inside and as you can see my download games I have loads of them I am actually addicted to that Tetris 99 that came out um, but I've not got down to first yet on that as you can see I have a lot of games on here already in fact i am down to my last 17 gig on the memory card here is my game case with the mario symbol and this is quite cool it holds 12 games and it holds them quite nicely even though they're easy to get in and out you can tip it upside down give it a bit of a shake and the games stay in there nicely I have some grips I have two of the steering wheel grips which my niece and nephew love playing Mario Kart with your Joy-Con goes in there and you have your two buttons on the top which are nice picky buttons and nice grip a little bit small but for a steering wheel but nicely made I have two of these grips for playing multiplayer games instead of your hand cramping up using the joy cons you can put, pop your joy con in here buttons are nice clicky nice feel just pieces of plastic but still it's better than holding the Joy-Con grip sideways and getting cramp in your hands and stuff like that. Joy-Cons just slot in there easy in and out you've got a hole at the back there to push them back out. I also have a black set which is a little bit different but still quite comfortable in your hand it feels quite firm in your hand easy enough to grip the trigger buttons nice easy 
press trigger buttons. I have a charging dock for the Nintendo Switch, which comes with kickstands. So you can play in tabletop mode. And this charge dock is 10,000 milliamp hours, which will give my Nintendo around another six hours extra gameplay. And also on the side, it has a USB-C in for charging the dock and a USB out for charging accessories, which is pretty cool. I have an extra set of Joy-Cons on a charge grip so I can keep my extra Joy-Cons charged up. Of course I have a Pro Controller. Now I love this thing, it's one of the best things made for the Nintendo, especially when you're playing um, Rocket League or modern combat stuff like that and you've got beefy hands you're used to the controller buttons are brilliant on there rumble i ain't gonna go too much into it because you've probably heard all about it uh, of course pokemon plus ball i think that's really cool the way the light changes to tell you what's happening, whether you caught a Pokemon. Also, the sound in there, which I didn't know until I got to the ball, started to play. Pokemon, let's go. I've got a little pouch to slide my Nintendo in. It's got the Nintendo symbol on there. Just a bit of extra protection for when I'm carrying my Nintendo Switch about. And then I've got a carry bag for Nintendo. You can also move these slots about to adjust to whatever you want to put in there. It's a net pocket at the back. It's got two net pockets. I am absolutely surprised of how many things, how many accessories you can actually get into this little bag. I attached some Mario themed key rings to it just for a bit of decoration. And that's the bag I mainly use when I'm taking my Nintendo around. I also have a third party version of the Nintendo Switch backpack. And it's made almost exactly the same as the Nintendo Switch official backpack. As you can see, you've got the very large pocket in the front with a couple of dividers for extra stuff that you want to carry around. In the front, you have another pocket there. And the main back, you've got game carry pocket, two net pockets, and all pockets for every Nintendo Switch accessory such as your Joy-Cons, uh, your Dark, your Charger and of course your Nintendo itself. The only thing it don't have is that extra pocket on the top underneath the handle which I don't think many people would use, but means it's only a third party bag. It's quite a decent bag. I also have another carry case here. And as I said earlier, I had a go at my own Labo and I made this arcade 
with all the uh, characters from Nintendo Switch games plus more I think let's turn it around have a look at the back it's got a little door on the back so you can get access to your Nintendo Switch and put it in there I'm actually giving my niece this because she likes it for her Nintendo Switch so that is it oh one more thing I couldn't get it out and display it with the rest of them is a wall mount for the Nintendo Switch as you can see here drop your Nintendo Switch in the dock nicely mounted to the wall nice and safe sturdy and it also has two holes to fit and stand up your pro controller which looks pretty cool and these little things here are actually for putting your wrist straps on which I think is quite nice but they, when your wrist straps are like that it does get in the way of getting your controller and your switch out you seem to knock them off but they they do hold it or you can have them hanging off there as well and I think that's it for now I hope you've enjoyed this video uh, please leave some likes if you like this video please leave some comments if you want to see any more accessories or games that you'd like me to try and hopefully in the future I'll be doing more videos in 360 and uh, not just on Nintendo stuff, it will be playing games, PlayStation games, also doing some games with my niece and nephew, and uh, maybe a couple of outings and stuff like that. So if you'd like to see any of them, please subscribe, please hit that like button, and if you like, please leave a comment. Thank you very much, see you soon.